what is inside. So first I'd like to walk you through the flow of kind of how the instructions are going to work here and the general intent behind this kit. Uh, it's worth mentioning right off the bat, as it says right on the bag, this is an educational kit. And therefore, everything is structured with education being the first priority here. So this isn't going to be a, a little toy in a bag that you pull out and 30 minutes of work, you've got this gadget to, to play with. This is going to be an experience that you go through small chunks at a time. When you get a product and it goes into your hands, there's a whole lot that happens before it gets to your hands. So there is a lot that I want to show you and, and have you do so that you can understand what that looks like. And that's just the initial assembly portion of this. Here, uh, we've got two of the Demon Seed implants themselves. Uh, we're not gonna use them quite yet. First thing we're gonna do is assemble this right here. This is going to be what makes up our programmer. We're going to go through one linear path. Um, it's going to be cut up into five to ten minute uh, segments where I cover each step. So the first several segments are going to be physical assembly and programming. Uh, then, after we've got that together, we're going to start getting into the more fun things that this can do. Um, I don't want to focus too much on soldering. So, I have removed some of the soldering overhead. So, you have a board, a Demon Z board, with a bunch of small components that are already soldered onto the board. Uh, I did that because I think there's already enough soldering in this kit and I don't think you're gonna to gain too much out of that. We're gonna go through everything after that. The programming, the integration of the cable, um, and all the different things we need to do to get this to do all the tricks we want. Uh, this doesn't have USB. It doesn't have a radio. It doesn't have even enough speed in it to uh, handle uh, full speed or even high speed uh, USB. But there are ways of achieving this. That's just what I initially designed the board for. I think there's a few more things I will uh, continue to be able to add as we progress. I'm going to roll out content a little bit faster until you have something you can program it and push payloads to. After that, I'm hoping for about once a week having five to ten minute videos that progress you in steps so that you've got time to digest and learn or catch up 